Hey there, I wanted to give a demo for the new Blend Shapes Manager script. Now this is an update as of October 2019. Um, it's a slight improvement, but it does mean that any Blend Shape preset files, if you are familiar with those, uh, that you have will need to be recreated um, because now I am using the names to, uh, uh, to figure out which shapes should get which values rather than just the order. And that makes it a lot easier and, and future-proof for when you add new wardrobe pieces to a character. Now this process will work for all characters in my uh, series, all the preachers as well. Um, but I'm going to demo using the half-orc because the half-orc is a more complicated character with all the wardrobe and whatnot. So let's, this is the, the demo scene and I've just got everything already attached here. So let's just reset this script and assume you're starting from scratch. Uh, the first thing you want to do is reload the uh, blend shapes, but before you do that you want to make sure that all the objects you want included are turned on and are a direct child of the uh, main model here, in this case the half-orc female demo. And that means I'm going to have to just move these out of their little, uh, make sure they're all turned on, and move them out here. I like to uh, oops, let me open the prefab a little bit first and move it out there. Uh, I always forget about nested prefabs. All right, now that everything is set in my prefab, I moved those out. You can see there's a whole mess of wardrobe and stuff there. I'm going to click this reload blend shapes button now. If you expand this, you can see all the blend shapes have been. I can see all these options. Only things that are visible will be visible, of course. You can change other things. Let me just open this this club here, and you can see there's options for the handle length and slider that just goes back and forth, so you can see the change. Club length, where you can you know again see that, and then the handle width. Got bigger, thicker hands, and then the spikes as well. Now, some of these have shapes that go in two directions, uh, up here and down here. If you really want to dig deep into how th what's going on in the script, uh, the blend shape itself will have this plus and minus, and my slider simply makes the plus go up while the minus goes down, so that only one of these will ever be active at the same time. Otherwise, if you bring that one up and you also bring this one up, you basically cancel them out a little bit and you get uh, unexpected, um, unexpected behaviors. So we will keep the spikes at a reasonable level uh, and we've got all these for for all of the the objects some have uh, uh, less op uh, options than others uh, in this case for the humanoids there are a lot of options for the head and the body and there's a couple things you can do um, first thing I like to always do is just set the max range and and that's basically saying that on any of these objects it can go from negative 200 to 100 or if it's only one direction from 0 to 100 um, and so I'm going to set the max range and you see that here from the minimum to the maximum and I'm just going to randomize all so you can see that there's a lot of things going on here and they don't always work together and the extreme values can really get some funky looking characters and so we like to have the extreme values so you can do stuff with them but combined it doesn't really make sense um, to go about doing that so there's a couple things you can do uh, I include in the blend shape preset file uh, folder here I include a range file uh, and if you select that uh, you can just drag this right here into this uh, text area and then click this load random ranges now this file if you just look at it it's just a whole bunch of text and uh, it allows the script to pre reset all of these to that range so now I'm just gonna randomize all on the body here and you can see that uh, things are much more proportional and not going too extreme um, so one of the things that I do not have in this uh, we're gonna fix here is that the the head didn't have any uh, options in the range file. So we're going to create a new range file. And this is something you can do if you want to have more control over the randomization of uh, your blend shape objects. So let's just focus in on the on the face here. All right. So the face is there. And we've got the half orc head. And so we've got all these options here. I'm just going to go through these. and select a minimum click that min button and it sets that and then select a maximum 
and sets that. Now, whenever this gets random, randomized, uh, it will go between these two values. Um, so I'm going to do that for all of these. Uh, keep in mind, if you combine extreme um, settings, then you start getting some really weird ideas. So you'll see me generally go to not quite the extremes for the min and max. Um, and, and often, let me just uh, get a focus on the head. Um, and often you might want to see it from the side uh, to see really what it does uh, to get a better idea of what it does. So I'm just going to quickly go through all of these options. So now if I randomize all the face, you see I get a bunch of very normal looking faces, some variety there. Uh, and so if I randomize the game, everyone's going to look a little bit different than the other characters. And so now I want to save this just in case um, I ever accidentally delete these files. So I'm just going to go up here and say export ranges preset. That's going to export a um, text file into this blend shapes preset folder. This is going to be under the SFA Studios one. Um, I move them into per character into, into one in the character folder, but it's going to export here. I've already got some here, as you can see. Um, and we'll name it with the character name and the range. Uh, the old version, um, let's see, the old version looked like, do I have any of the old version ranges up here? Yeah, the old version looked like this with just numbers. The new version looks like this with names. Now, if you ever want to reload one, you just drag that into here, click the load random ranges, and you're all set. Similar thing happens with this preset, uh, the, the values, the preset values right here. Uh, which is slightly different. Instead of the ranges, this actually controls um, the actual values itself. Now you can uh, choose on all the options to include the values, randomize the values, or exclude the values. And what we're doing here, you can also do it on a per object level. We're changing these uh, these selections right here um, from do not record, record value, and random on load. Now if you exclude everything, they're not going to be recorded. And then if I uh, export a value as a preset, and we check this out, this can be uh, um, half or human demo zero. Um, see, it's V2 of the manager. The V1 does not have that uh, at all. Um, so V2 of the manager, where to go? Human demo. And there's nothing there because we excluded everything. But if I just want to include the body itself. I could say random, and now these will randomize on load. I'm going to name this uh, half orc, orc female. Let's copy that demo body, and I'm going to export that, and it's going to keep that name for me. So body, uh, and now you can see that the values are there. At runtime, this can be called. This function can be called that I'm about to run. So that, that's a key point here. Um, so you can save these as text files or in a player prefs or however you'd like. Just click this load prefab and let me zoom out again and or load preset and it's going to go through those and run just the ones that um, that we've selected uh, and if you want something to be very specific and you want the exact values then just say the include and then it's going to record the exact value in this case we're going to do everything random and then we'll exclude uh, or export that as demo everything export that value and then you can see it's much longer. When we load that, uh, everything then it, everything is getting um, randomized. So there's a lot you can do there with this. With this, um, for the humans and the humanoids, there's a lot more options. Uh, for the car uh, creatures, there's generally a few less options because they're just less complicated. Um, so that's the blend shapes. Uh, manager script always you know you look at the script itself I don't um, it's all visible for you um, so you can actually look at the there we go open up the script and see what methods I'm calling and, and you can use these at runtime as well so definitely check that out have a great day everyone thanks